this giant TNT sphere appeared right next to JJ and Mikey's houses. We need to upgrade their protection so they can survive the explosion. Bluey, that TNT sphere is huge. I know, Pip. Just look at how huge that is. And it has a bunch of regular TNT, TNT times 5, and TNT times 20. Which means this ball is going to do a huge amount of destruction. But wait, Louie, how long until it explodes? We only have 20 minutes to build this entire security base to keep JJ and Mikey safe from this explosion. 20 minutes? Is that enough time? I think it is, Pip. But we better not waste any time. Let's start building. First, let's get rid of these houses. These are not strong enough to protect JJ and Mikey at all. We need to start from scratch. These houses will not protect them. I know. It might be red and really beautiful, but I have to get rid of it. Even though red is my favorite color. Wait, personally, yellow is my favorite, but is okay. You know, for some reason, Pip, you really remind me of Mikey. I mean, you're both noobs after all. I'm not a noob. Just look how fast I'm destroying this house. I'm destroying it faster than you. Oh, no, you're not. I'm gonna have this house destroyed so much quicker. I just need to break it as fast as I can. You're never beating me, Pip. Wait, I've already got half the roof gone. But what are we going to build when we finish destroying these houses? Well, that's the thing, Pip. What is really good against surviving from extremely large explosions? Those bathtubs are really good. Oh, Pip, I'm not talking about hiding in a bathtub from an explosion. I'm talking about building a secret bunker <gasps> all the way down here in the ground. Secret bunkers are so cool. Yep, did you know every single millionaire in the entire world has one? <gasps> Just in case of a nuclear fallout. Louie. So if we build a secret bunker, does that make us millionaires? Yes, that makes us all millionaires. Yay! If you guys want to be millionaires, then make sure to like the video to let us know. But anyways, Pip, we have to build this extremely secure bunker underneath the ground to survive this explosion and keep JJ and Mikey safe from the aftermath. Actually, how deep do we need to go? Well, judging by the size of this TNT ball, we need to go about 30 or 40 blocks deep. That will protect us from most of the TNT blast. So let's get digging! Faster, Louie, we don't have much time. I'm trying, Pip. We really do not have enough time to build this. Let's just hope that whatever we come up with is strong enough to survive. And there we go, Pip. Our entrance to our super secret secure bunker is completed. It's so far down, Louie, but how are Mikey and JJ supposed to get down there? Oh, that's a good point. If they jump down there, they'll just die. So how about we go all the way to the bottom right here and we make a nice slime block entrance. Let's put a ton of slime blocks at the bottom like this to work like a trampoline. So if I go all the way up to the top and jump down like JJ will, he'll bounce around and take no damage. It'll be awesome. Me, I love trampolines. Me too, Pip. But now that I think about it, a trampoline won't survive against this massive TNT explosion. We have to reinforce all of the walls of this entrance so that nothing can blow it up. Well, Louie, it should be safe. We're surrounded by the best block in Minecraft. Dirt! Oh, you must be lying to yourself, Pip. Dirt is the worst block in Minecraft. Just look how ugly and really, really easy it is to break. Look, I'll just touch it with my pinky finger. <laughs> there it goes. Well, Louis, we're in creative mode. We one-shot everything. Oh, that's a good point. But how about this, Pip? We should reinforce the walls of our secret underground bunker with a bunch of black iron and this regular iron. These are some of the strongest blocks in Minecraft and will be really good to protect our base with. So how about we surround the top section of this hole right here with a bunch of iron? This way, it will be very difficult to explode from the top here. So when that TNT arrives over here, it will do almost no damage. And then we can go down into the bunker with a bunch of this black iron blocks. Louis, while you're doing that, 
I'll set up a dirt wall to protect us from the TNT. Pip, I can't believe you're thinking like this. At least use something really strong like obsidian. But Louis, it's reinforced dirt, not just regular dirt. Well, I guess you are right. It is blast proof, but it just looks so ugly. Can we at least just use some obsidian? Look, I'll show you how much better it looks. And you can also use a lot of different patterns like this. You can use these chiseled obsidian bricks to add patterns to the wall. They don't look as good as dirt, but I guess they will do. All right, Pip. Well, let's go ahead and build down into this bunker right here, just so that we have an entrance to our base. Then we'll start worrying about the walls. But to build this faster, I'm going to use this thing called a Wand of Symmetry. And it allows me to place blocks on all sides of the bunker at the same time. I only have to worry about one wall on this entire thing. Louis, this is awesome. That just saved us so much time. I know, right, Pip? Did you know that also works on building walls, too? Like, look at this. If I place some walls here, it also places them here. Louis, we can build walls so much faster. Why don't we use this wand of symmetry and build walls even faster? Yes, Pip, let's do it. Here, I'll give you one for yourself to use, and then let's get building. I'll use these obsidian bricks, and then let's build up the patterns on the wall. And now we have a huge obsidian wall to protect us from the TNT blast. Wait, this is just an obsidian square. Can we make this look any better? Of course we can, Pip. How about we use our favorite colors in the game? You can use yellow, and I will use red. Let's use a bunch of concrete to make this thing look awesome. Let's build it up with some red and yellow. I'll use yellow to act as support beams, and I'll use the red to build up into the air like that. How tall should we make this? Well, I think we should turn this into some kind of tower in order to protect ourselves against the explosion. After all, the higher up this base is, the more TNT the top of the base will catch, meaning that the bottom bunker where we will be keeping Mikey and JJ will not take any damage. There's no way this TNT will blow up Mikey and JJ. I know, right, Pip? Our base is going to be impenetrable. That TNT is going to have no chance against us. Let's keep building our walls out of this really secure obsidian. And look at how this base is coming along. It looks like a witch's tower, but it's made out of our favorite colors. But Louie, we should add some traps to prevent the TNT from getting inside. And I think I have the perfect idea. Cobwebs! Wait. Cobwebs? Wait, Pip, that's actually a genius idea. Let's go ahead and surround the roof over here with a ton of cobwebs. This way, the TNT will get stuck when it gets to the top of the base. This looks really cool. It's not all, Louie. It also absorbs the explosion from the TNT. Wait, no way. Let me test this really quickly. I'll get some TNT and I'll blow it up on the top over here. And let's see what it does. Oh, come on, don't explode the cobwebs, and it didn't even get through at all. Pip, you actually came up with one of the best ideas ever. But now it's time for me to come up with an idea. Watch this, okay? I say that we get the ground right here and turn it into obsidian as well. This way, the TNT won't be able to dig through the ground and attack JJ and Mikey. And then, around this wall, let's build some huge obsidian walls to act as an extra layer of defense against the TNT when it tries to get through the walls of the base. This looks really cool, but what else should we add? Well, let me show you what I think we should add, Pip. If we get some water buckets as well and pour it all over these walls like this, did you know that the water can absorb a TNT blast? which means we will take absolutely no damage from the explosion. Water can make TNT do absolutely no damage. Let me just show you over here. If I get some TNT and a flint and steel and blow it up in this water right here, it will do absolutely zero damage to the blocks around it. Look at that! I didn't 
didn't know that. And look, if we put this water surrounding our entire base, that means our base is going to be blast proof. All we have to do is make sure we have a water moat around the base that can catch the water so that it doesn't leak everywhere. This water is so cool. And after that TNT explodes, we'll have our own swimming pool. I know, Pip. We are not only going to build a swimming pool out here. We are going to build a swimming pool inside of our sea secret bunker as well. We just need to make sure we have protected the outside first. Louis, this looks pretty good, but I feel like we're missing something. Well, what do you think we're missing, Pip? Maybe you should add something to this base. Oh, Louis, well, maybe we should add more walls to it. You can never have enough walls. That's a good idea, Pip. Let's grab some stone bricks from our creative menu like this, and let's build a huge castle wall going around this entire base. This way, our secret bunker is going to look like a really old medieval castle, and it will be amazing. If we make this huge castle for ourselves, does that make us the kings of these castles? Louis and Pip are the strongest kings in the world. Yeah, I agree with you, Pip. If you guys agree with Pip that we are the strongest kings in the entire of Minecraft, then make sure to subscribe, because we're going to build so many things inside of this castle. And not only are we kings, but we are millionaires, because we have this bunker. These corners look kind of boring as normal stone bricks, so I'm going to replace them with chiseled stone bricks. Wait, that actually looks really cool. Let me grab some of those chiseled stone bricks and help you. And also, at the same time, let's add some extra reinforcements to the corner of our castle. This way, it looks like it's being held up by these corner beams. And we can have it maybe go across through the middle to make it look a lot stronger like this. This is amazing, Louie. But it's not a real castle if there's no entrance to the castle. Wait, you make a good point there, Pip. Follow me. Let's go around the back where the TNT won't be able to get. And let's make a really cool castle gate going into the inside of our bunker. Let's just do it like this. What do you think of that? This is so cool. I like these corners. Yep, I like these as well. Let's also make these out of chiseled stone bricks too. Like that. And now what we should do is we should make a castle gate. What do you think? To make it open and close. But Louis, how are we supposed to do that? Well, let me go ahead and build one. As you know, castle gates come out all the way over the top, and they close going downwards. They kind of rotate out and in in order to close and open. So we will also get a bunch of iron gates like this. And this kind of looks like a castle gate, but let's get rid of that for now. We will close it when the TNT arrives. Oh, Louis, this entrance is so secure. I'm so excited, but I've got another thing to do to make this look like a really cool castle gate. I'm going to get a fence, and I'm going to place it on either side. Then, I'm going to grab a lead, and I'm going to go underneath this base just around here. Let's also do it on the other side. Then, I'm going to get a chicken like this and put it onto a lead and close it up. Then, I will attach it to this gate. And it looks like there is a rope that holds this gate in place, making it like a drawbridge. Oh, Louis, I like how it looks, but why are we torturing this poor duck? Oh, don't worry. We will feed it all of the duck seed that it wants. But for now, let's just forget it's there, okay? I'll also do it down here as well with this little guy. Come on. Just get in the hole. No, no, stop jumping out. Get in. And then I will put it right there. And now all I've got to do is just cover it up so it doesn't look as noticeable. And there we go. We have this awesome castle door. Louis, I think our drawbridge is complete and it looks so good. But I really think we should add some archer towers that we can shoot from the top of our castle. Wait, that is a good point, Pip. If JJ and Mikey want to see what's happening outside, they are going to need some archer towers. Let's go to the middle of our bunker like this and put our wand of symmetry down. Let's just put it right here. 
And now we can build these archer towers coming off of the side of the castle. Do you guys also love castles? Comment yes if you do. And I will like your comment. I love going to the beach and making sand castles. I know you do, Pip, but this castle is a lot crazier and a lot more deadly and a lot more secure than a regular sandcastle, okay? This is way cooler than any sandcastle I've ever built. I know it is, Pip, and that's why we are going to keep making this thing even stronger and even deadlier looking. We are just adding these towers on the side of our castles right now. Do you want to help me out really quickly? Louis, let's start building up the corners of our castle towers. Good thinking, Pip. I'm going to fill in all of these walls out of these stone bricks so that we can have some really secure and reinforced castle towers. I'll also make sure to add these little spikes on the top like it's a real castle. That looks awesome. Let me just help you with this wall here, Pip. And then we'll make it look nice and castle-like. Oh, Louie, this wand of symmetry is so OP. We built one tower and it made four. I know. This wand of symmetry makes building so much easier. If we didn't have it, I don't think we would have been able to protect JJ and Mikey as good. Well, Louie, at least we now have great defenses to protect our friends Mikey and JJ. Absolutely, Pip. I'm looking at this castle, though, and I think we have one major flaw. What is it, Louie? What's wrong? Well, when the TNT explodes, it will blast a bunch of TNT right at the front of our castle. And these stone bricks are not blast-proof. So I think I have a really good idea on what we can do. What are you thinking of? I really don't want our castle to explode. Well, watch this, Pip. I'm going to go into my creative menu, and I'm going to grab a bunch of these emerald fans. And now all I have to do is just place them going along the front of this entire base. You'll see what it's going to do in just a second, Pip, but it's going to be really good. As I build as well, it's placing emerald blocks on that side too, which is reinforcing our castle walls. These emerald fans are so OP. Watch, when I shoot a bow and arrow at it, the arrow just goes flying the other direction. Wait, what? Let me try this out really quickly. I need to see if this is true. If I shoot an arrow right now, it flies back at me. This is just what the TNT will do. This is awesome, Pip. Let's cover our entire base with emerald fans. That's a really good idea. I cannot wait to see how bad this TNT is against our base. It's going to be so powerful if we have a bunch of these fans all along the front of this thing. Not to mention, these emerald fans are the strongest ones in the game. There are no other fans that come close. I'm sure they're stronger fans. Um, are there dirt fans in the game by any chance? Dirt fans? Did you just ask me if there are dirt fans in Minecraft? Pip, there are not dirt fans in Minecraft. All we have is iron fans, gold fans, diamond fans, emerald fans, and redstone fans. Dirt fans do not exist. Well, I mean, these emerald fans are good, too. Look, if I fly up and then I jump, I get flung into a TNT. Ooh, let's see how strong an arrow is against this. If I shoot an arrow into it, it just shoots back at the TNT ball. That's crazy. But we need to be careful not to shoot these emerald fans too many times. If any of those arrows hit that TNT like that one, it might blow it up early. And we do not want that, Pip. Louis, that would be horrible. But anyways, Pip, come to me really quick. I have something we need to do. What do we need to do, Louis? Well, since we've built the entire outside of our base right now, how about we start building the inside? Let's just make a way through to get underneath the ground. Louis, how are we going to make an entrance to the inside? There's so much water. Well, even if we made an entrance, we need to make sure this thing is protected. So how about we build a little tunnel going through this entire entrance out of obsidian? This way, we won't take any damage from any TNT that tries to kill us. Good idea, 
let me just help you with this tunnel. All right, thank you very much, Pip. But now we got to this end here, and we have to make sure there is no water in the way of our tunnel. So let's just make sure there's no water coming inside of here, and then let's break a hole through to the outside so that we can walk through nicely without any water getting in the way. I'll also make sure to make the ground out of this obsidian like this. This way, if any TNT gets inside, it will not dig through the ground into our bunker down below. This wall is looking a little strange, though. It seems to be flat on this end and then bumpy on this end. Let's get rid of some of this really quickly and make sure that the wall is flat, too. This way, we won't have any problems with decorating this place once we're done. But now we have this obsidian tunnel going through, let's get ourselves into the main base and connect the obsidian tunnel up. And now we have all of this space to build everything we would need in a secret bunker against that TNT. But now that we're working on our inside, what exactly should we add in the inside? Well, first of all, Pip, we have to start building a massive room down here in order to even add anything. So how about you help me really quickly? Let me think about what we could build. Maybe we could do something like a pool or an armory room or a restaurant down below. Can we add a bathroom? I guess we can, Pip. After all, with no bathroom, how are we going to pee? I mean... We could use the ground. Well, Pip, that is not an option. We need to make sure that we have everything we would need to survive. And that includes a toilet. Ducks don't use toilets. I don't need those. I just use the dirt. But that's only because you're a duck and Mikey is a turtle. Me and JJ are humans. So we need to use a toilet. So how about you help me dig out a massive space under here and we will add a bathroom first. I'm digging right now. All right, let's go, Pip. Dig faster. We only have about 50 minutes left. And there we go. Look at all of this space we just dug out, Pip. It's huge. That took so long, but I'm glad we have an area to add the inside. Me too, Pip. But how about this? Before we add anything, I'm going to use some admin commands to set the walls to look really nice. I'll set them to these really cool smooth stone blocks. This way, this place really will look like a really awesome secure bunker. This is looking amazing, but we should really add some extra TNT defense just in case. That is a good idea, Pip. Here, follow me. I have a good idea on what we can do. We can go behind these blocks right here and select some areas. We'll do one in the top corner over here and one in the bottom corner over here. Louis, what is this supposed to do? Well, as you know, water stops any blocks from exploding. So what I'm going to do is take all of this space around the walls and turn it into water. Watch this. Boom! Oh, Louis, this is a great idea to reinforce our base with water. Yep, now if any TNT explodes behind that wall, it will not do any damage. Which means if any TNT digs down underground and gets behind the walls, it won't explode its way in. Oh, Louis, not a single block of TNT is getting in here. Yep, and the best part is, Pip, because we have that water protecting our base, we can now make the walls out of really weak blocks down here and make it look really nice. Because no TNT will be able to get down, I'm going to set all of the walls to red and yellow blocks. And then we can place whatever we want on all sides of the walls. This way, we can have our own sides of this bunker and we can have our favorite activities in here. Let's go ahead and make two walls yellow and two walls red. This way, we have two of our own side. What's the floor going to be made out of, Louis? Well, Pip, let me show you what I can do. I'll go to both of these corners, and I will set the floor to yellow and red. <gasps> now it looks awesome. Really liking this floor, Louis. But if the TNT is coming from above, shouldn't we do something about this roof? Oh, that is a good point, Pip. I think we should make this roof out of obsidian instead of making it out of dirt. This way, if any TNT blows up on the roof, it will not make its way inside. So let's do that. Boom! Look at this, Pip. Isn't this awesome? Louis, this is super 
super secure. Yep, there is no way any TNT will blow through this roof. So now we can start working on whatever we want in here. Oh, Louie, I have so many ideas on what we could do. We could add a roller coaster. We could add a kitchen. That's all very good ideas, Pip. But how about we add that bathroom just like you wanted? Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. But... Well, where can we put it? Well, how about this? When we get down from the bunker entrance, instead of putting the slime blocks all the way down here, we should put them up here and make a nice spiral of rooms going down the middle. Let me show you what I mean. I'll go around the outside with this smooth stone like this. And then from the middle block here, I'm going to make a circle like this. And now look at all of this space we have, Pip. We have this big disc shape to build whatever we want on. And we can have it go across like this towards some rooms that are going to be in the walls. Oh my goodness, Louie. Mikey and JJ are going to love this. I know, Pip. But how about this? Let's have some red carpets and yellow carpets going all the way over to the rooms. So that Mikey and JJ know whose room is which. But wait a second. JJ is already red, but... Your rooms are going to be yellow. How about we make some green rooms so that Mikey is happy too? Oh, you're right, Louie. We need to add some green. All right, we will build the bathroom right here. But let's also make sure to make it green so that Mikey will like it. Let's just dig into this wall and make a nice big square shape on the inside. I'll let you take the creative decisions on this one, Pip. Since this is your side after all, as it's yellow like this. All right, Louie, I'm thinking out the inside shape for the bathroom right now. All right, Pip, are we going to make this a big, long bathroom? Or are we going to make this like a really weird newbie looking one? Because you like making your bathrooms in weird shapes. Weird shapes, Louie? They're great shapes. Well, how about this, Pip? Let me get started on your bathroom walls already. This is a good enough shape. So let's get some green and some yellow. We need to make sure we have some really cool lime blocks. So I'm going to get some of these really cool lime concrete bricks. Look, these ones kind of look like turtle shells. What do you think? Whoa, Louie, this reminds me of Mikey's shell. Yes, Pip, and watch this. If we go and put some bricks along the bottom side of this bathroom like this, and then we do the top like this out of these shell-looking blocks, we can make Mikey feel really at home. While he's taking his poops and taking his peas, he'll be able to look at the walls and feel like he's really at home. We're just missing a couple more blocks. We need a material block for the floor and the ceiling. Well, I have a really good idea. Inside of bathrooms, there are usually these tiles. Let's use these white and gray tiles to fill in the ground of the bathroom. And now that we have the floor made out of these tiles, let's do the same thing on the roof. But instead, let's just build it out of this smooth stone. This is really secure looking. And if any TNT manages to get down here, which I doubt it will, it won't be able to blast through the roof. That would be so bad if the TNT exploded while I'm peeing. After all, Pip, if that TNT blasted through the roof, your butt wouldn't be the only thing exploding in the toilet. Louis, my butt will not explode. It's a normal butt, not a weird one. You have a very, very weird looking butt. And mine looks very cool, though. Look at this. Louis, I'm not looking at your butt. Okay, then, Mr. Kisses yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Let me go ahead and actually add one of those right now. Here we go, and boom. We now have a mirror inside of our bathroom, so, um, have fun, Pip. Louis, I don't kiss myself in the mirror. I kiss the other duck. <gasps> Look, I, I can see the other duck. Oh, they're getting closer to me. Mwah, oh, mwah. no. Pip, I am going to add a wall on this bathroom now. We need to make sure that uh, we all get the privacy that we deserve. I'm going to go ahead and make a big wall right here. I'm going to get a sign. I'm going to place it on the top and put bathroom. And then I'll also put Louie. 
don't go inside because of Pip. And now I need to make sure that I never have to go in there ever again. So let's just put a keypad door with the code. One, two, three, four. This way, I'll never have to worry about going in there ever again. Wait, Louie, what is this sign you put up here? I, I can't really read very well. Well, I put bathroom. Louie, don't go inside because of Pip. Because you love to kiss yourself in the mirror, and it's so weird! Don't you think, guys? Why don't you just join me next time, Louie? Um, I'm not kissing myself in the mirror. I did not want to join you, Pip. After all, I cannot even look in the mirror at myself. I'm kind of ugly. Don't you think, guys? Like, if you agree. But besides, Pip, we have built your bathroom, but I'm going to put something that we really, really need inside of this secret bunker. Let me go ahead and show you. We will make a pathway going into this red wall right here, and then I will show you exactly what we are going to build. We, we built the pathway, but... What are you thinking of adding, Louie? Well, let me show you. We are going to dig a really, really big hole into this entire wall right here. We need to make sure this is huge, okay? Okay. We, we gotta make this very, very long. So let's make it go to somewhat the corners of this room. What could possibly need all this space? Let me show you, Pip. If I dig out a massive space into the inside right here, we can start making a farm to make sure that JJ and Mikey do not go hungry. Right, Louie. We need to feed JJ and Mikey all of the seeds. All of the seeds? Wait, you want to feed them seeds? That is disgusting. Well, what are you talking about, Louie? People eat seeds all the time at baseball games. They eat seeds at baseball games? I don't think I've ever seen that happen, Pip. But one thing that is good about seeds is that it grows into wheat. And with wheat, you can make bread. And that will make sure that JJ and Mikey are always full of food. All right. Now we have all of this space on the inside. It's time to make our farm. So we need to make sure we have a ton of water. I'm going to place it in the middle at the back right here. Every few blocks or so, like this. This way, the soil will always be hydrated, and it can produce very good crops. This looks amazing, and I can even take bird baths. Oh, do not go taking bird baths in that. The plants need it for food. But let me show you how the water will affect the crops. If I dig into the ground with a hoe just like this, it is very, very dry. But as you can see, the land starts to get wet. And that means that the plants can grow. As you guys know, if you want to grow any seeds, you have to give it water. I mean, is water really the best for a farm? When I grow my seeds, I just use my pee instead of water. Wait, what? You pee on your plants? Oh, no, that's really bad. I ate some bread from your house the other day. Please don't tell me you grew that by peeing on it. Well, Louie, don't you know the saying? Reuse and recycle. Ew, that's disgusting. Guys, I really need help. This, this guy is peeing on everything I eat. But enough of that weird talk, Pip. We are going to get some red terracotta and fill in the insides of the walls right here. This way, we can have a nice wallpaper in the back instead of just having a bunch of nasty dirt inside of our farm. What do you think of this so far? Do you think this will be big enough to feed JJ and Mikey? I think it is pretty big, but... Shouldn't we add a ceiling to it? Of course we should, Pip. Let's go ahead and use the smooth stone, the same as we did in the bathroom. Let's just fill all of this in, and then I can add something else in that we forgot. What did we forget? Let me show you, Pip. After all, without it, the plants can't even grow. Let me just get these things called end rods. And these are lights, because as you guys know, without lights, plants cannot grow. So I'll make them go across the roof. This makes it look really awesome. And at the same time, we can use some of these stripped oak logs to make some support beams going up the sides of the wall. And that holds the lights in place. Let's just do it on each side, just two blocks apart from each other. And then we will fill in all of these empty spaces with some lights. This way, the plants can grow finally. I'm really excited to see what JJ and Mikey think of this base, Pip. What do you think of it so far? Oh, Louie, I think it looks great. And we're only getting started. Oh, yes, we are, Pip. We are going to add so many cool things inside of here. 
maybe we should add a swimming pool and a restaurant and everything. And a roller coaster. Okay, Pip. I think our farm is complete. All we need to do is just plant some seeds. So let's do that and then add something else on your side. Louie, I'm planting a bunch of seeds right now. Awesome. Let's just fill in all of these empty farmland spaces like this. And boom, we now have a ton of seeds growing, ready to feed JJ and Mikey. Now, Pip, it's your turn to decide what we will build. So let's do a really quick pathway going over here like this, going to your side once again. I'm thinking we should add an armory so we can give JJ and Mikey armor for the TNT Blast. That is a very good point. I think I have an idea on what blocks we can use for this armory. Let's go ahead and use some blackstone bricks. These things are really strong. I'll also use some black iron blocks too. Let's also get some red and some green concrete so that we can show which side is JJ and Mikey's inside. All right, Pip, you start digging out the inside and I'll start placing some blocks and we will make this armory look amazing. And let's dig really, really far into the wall like this. Oh, Louie, we're going to give Mikey and JJ such good armor. I'm thinking of giving them leather armor. Leather armor? But that's terrible. I can't believe you would give Mikey and JJ leather armor to survive a TNT explosion. Well, Louie, I'm waiting for the dirt update. Would I make dirt armor that's better than diamond armor and leather armor? Um, Pip, I don't think that day is ever going to come. Dirt will always be worse than diamonds, emeralds, and all of the blocks. A duck can dream. But those dreams won't necessarily come to life every single time. I'm going to go ahead and add some red to this side. And let's replace this red here with some green. This will show that this side is Mikey's and this side is JJ's. So we can put whatever armor we think they need on each side. But now, Pip, what we are going to do is we are going to fill in all of these blocks around the outside with blackstone. Not only does it look super cool, but it's also blast-proof as well, meaning no TNT will get inside of our armory. That means we can sit back and relax and get JJ and Mikey suited up. I think this should be the room which they will stay. Or maybe we should build some bedrooms that they can stay inside until this whole thing is over. We have a massive armory room that we can do whatever we want inside. What I'm going to go ahead and do, though, is fill in these blocks right here and make a really cool detail for this armory room. Watch this. So let me just fill in all of these spaces with iron blocks like this. And then in the inside over here, I'll get some lava. Lava. Let me just get a lava bucket and fill it in from the roof. Now watch this, Pip. It will drip down and go down into the walls like that. And now we have a really dangerous looking but also cool looking lava window. It's so scary but so cool at the same time. Yep, did you also know that lava works just like water with TNT? It stops any TNT from doing any damage, which means that's also a security measure. Really great, Louie, but we should really start putting our armor stands down. Good point, Pip. Let me just put some armor stands on this side, and then let's also go in and get some chests too, because we need to make sure that we have really strong loot for JJ and Mikey. Wait, what are you doing over there, Pip? What is this armor? You said leather armor was trash, so I'm making Mikey a power ranger. Power ranger? This is awesome. Wait a second, but how much armor does it have? Eight armor? Wait, Pip, this is actually a really good decision for once. You've done a really good job with this. Louie, you're always making fun of me for using leather armor, so I decided to get better armor than you. But... Maybe you should use red Power Ranger armor. Oh, I'm not going to use red Power Ranger armor, Pip. If you think you can make better armor than me in Minecraft, you are very wrong. Just watch this. I'm going to go into my creative menu. Then I can get some of this fire dragon steel armor. It is the strongest armor in the entire game, Pip. Look at how cool it looks. How good is this? Let me see how much armor it gives you. 
plus 12? Yep, it's way better than your Power Ranger armor, which only does plus 8. This is super strong armor, Louie. How did you even get this? Well, don't forget, Pip, since we have a secret bunker now, we're technically millionaires. We could afford Dragonsteel armor all day. And did you know, Dragonsteel armor can only be gotten from slaying a dragon. Did you kill a dragon, Louie? Of course I did, Pip, because I'm a Minecraft pro. I didn't know you were such a Minecraft pro. Well, of course I am, Pip. I'm just a pro and you're just a noob, sadly. If I was such a noob, would I have come up with this armory? And I'm even adding some glass. Wait, that is really cool. Let me help you with that. We can have red glass for this side and lime stained glass for this side. One side's for JJ and one side's for Mikey. And it also looks super secure when the glass is here. It's almost like an awesome sliding door. Let's also make sure that it connects together just like that. Pip, this is the most awesome armory I think I've ever seen. But I have a very good idea to make sure that it looks as protected as possible. I'm going to reinforce the outside with these obsidian bricks so that this armory looks extra cool and extra secured from the outside explosions. And then I'll go around this area with these obsidian walls. Doesn't this just look amazing? How do you come up with this stuff? This looks so good. I'm just very, very, very smart. But Pip, it's time to work on my side of the wall. We've done an armory, a farm, and we've done a bathroom. But I think it's time to do Mikey and JJ's bedrooms. This way, they will have somewhere to stay to escape the explosion. We need to make this the most secure bedroom ever. Well, Pip, let's get started. Let's make sure that this walkway is made out of obsidian bricks. This way, it will never explode and Mikey and JJ will be able to go wherever they want, no matter if the TNT gets down here. Let's also surround it with these obsidian walls. It kind of looks like a castle wall. But Louie, this is really close to the surface. If that TNT somehow gets in, their bedroom is in some real danger. Well, don't you worry, Pip. This is why I have a plan B ready. I'm going to break two holes in this obsidian and let's just drop down down like this. Now, all we have to do is get some glass blocks and place them going all the way down. I'll tell you what I'm building in just a moment, okay? All right, Louie, but I really don't see how a glass tube is supposed to help us survive. Okay, fine. I'll tell you what I'm doing right now. But let's just get these glass pillars to go all the way to the bottom like this before I do. Louie, we're at the bottom now, but what are we going to do? We are going to make some water elevators, Pip. This way, Mikey and JJ can get to the top and the bottom of this base whenever they want. This bottom floor is where their bedroom is going to be. And it's going to be the most secure area in this entire base. So to make these water elevators, we are going to need some soul sand and some magma blocks. Do you know why that is, Pip? So Mikey and JJ can play in the soul sand like it's a sand pit? No, Pip, it's not for that reason. Come here. I'll place some soul sand on the bottom here and some magma on the bottom here. And now I just need to place some water going all the way up these tubes. These act as the elevator. If I go in here, it will suck me all the way down to the bottom. But if I go on the soul sand one, which I will fill up right now, it will send me all the way to the top. I just need to fill it all the way up with water like this. And boom, I filled them both up. Pip, how about you give that soul sand a test? I went so fast. Yep, if I go ahead now and just fill in this bottom area with these obsidian bricks, I can show you how this works. If I go into the magma, it does not send me up. But if I go into the soul sand, we go all the way to the surface. And it launches us back, ready to go outside of the secret bunker. This is so fun, Louie. Yep, it is, Pip. But it's not as fun as what Mikey and JJ's bedrooms are going to look like. Let me show you. If I go to the middle of these slime blocks really quickly, and I run a nice special command, I can make a wall going around this entire area out of red and yellow concrete. I just need to do it a few times so that the wall comes all the way down. And this area below is where Mikey and JJ are going to be staying. This will be their bedroom. Wait, what, Louie? This is so cool. 
Ooh. Yep, look at this. I can make a doorway coming through, and you can go up and down the water elevator to get inside. So now what I'm going to do, Pip, is I'm going to add a floor really quickly. Let me just do this command, and I will make it out of smooth stone once again, just like this. This is where Mikey and JJ are going to be staying. This is where their beds will be. They have such a massive bedroom. I know, right, Pip? But how about this? Let's have a competition to see who can make the best bedroom. You make Mikey's side, and I'll make JJ's side, okay? All right, Louie. Let's just split it down the middle like this, and you go ahead and make Mikey's side. I'm going to build a quick wall like this so that we can break it down and see exactly what our rooms look like on the other side once we're done. And boom, we now have a wall. So get building, Pip. These bedrooms have to look awesome. I'm building as fast as I can, Louie. I'm putting down a green carpet so this floor looks nice and not boring like smooth stone. Yep, me too, Pip. I am adding a red carpet for JJ, but I'm not going to cover the entire room with it. I'm going to split this room up into three parts. One right here. I'll do one very, very, very big room. And then I'll do another small room on the side there. But Louie, what's the point of splitting your room in three parts? My whole room is made of carpet. This is because I'm going to have three different activities that JJ can do inside of his room. This side could be maybe for recording videos. This side could be for eating and having fun. And this side could be just the entrance where he can put his shoes once he comes in. Sucks to be you, Louie, because I'm already adding the beds in it. And even though only Mikey is staying in this room, I'm adding multiple beds just in case he gets bored and wants to switch beds. All right, Pip. Well, how about you do that and I'll go ahead and do the same. I also want some bookshelves in my room because JJ loves to read. Let's just fill in this area right here with some bookshelves. I'll also get some oak logs like this to cover up the top and the bottom. This is where JJ's reading area is going to be. And I'll also make it come right back over here because this is where his sofa is going to be and his TV. Let's go ahead and put those in right now. I'm going to get a TV screen and put it in the middle there. I'll also turn it on. And then I can add some more bookshelves underneath. So there's more space to store some books. Then I'm going to get a chest like this for a ton of extra storage for JJ. Boom! We, uh, I'm putting down a couch just for Mikey. Oh, well, I don't care about your couch, Pip, because I'm going to do the same thing soon. First, though, I'm going to place some of these note blocks like this, and these kind of look like speakers for the TV. But now it's time for me to add my sofa. You're placing chairs, but I'm placing these really cool red sofas like this. If I just make a space out like this, I can make a sofa that curves around like that, and it looks awesome! What do you guys think? Do you like this sofa design? I'm also going to get the ground right here and move the carpets. This way I can have a nice separation between the carpets and the regular floor. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Mikey's computer setup. This way he can record all of his videos. Let's go and put the PC right in the middle and put the PC tower right next to it. Then I can put these note blocks on the top to act as speakers. Louis, while you're doing that, I added a microwave in Mikey's room and popcorn so he can have a movie night anytime he wants. Wait, you added a microwave and popcorn? Oh, guys, I need to really hurry up with this room. My room doesn't look anything like Pip sounds. So let's go ahead and make a kitchen really fast. I'm going to go ahead and add a table just over here. And I'll also have to add some kitchen tiles. I don't have any red ones, so I guess white and black will have to do. Let's go ahead and add a very small kitchen over here. I'll also add a microwave just like Pip. I'll add an oven like this one. And I'll place them right here. I'll place the microwave there. And I'll place another microwave on that side too. But now I need some things to add to my kitchen. So I'm going to add a nice cake like this and a frying pan. And then I'm going to add a fully baked cake. This is amazing! And over the top, I'm going to add these really cool fences 
to make this kitchen look really nice. It almost looks like a bakery. And now for the entrance of the room, I'm going to get some plan. And I'm going to place them all around the outside of the room. So let's get some of these really nice looking hanging plants and hang them off the side of the roof with these really cool fences. And I'm going to get some of these wall plants and place them against the wall like this. Don't these look awesome too? I'll get some of these fences. I'll get some of these fences to add a bit of extra detail to the top like this. And then I'll add one of these hanging plants from the ceiling. And this way I have a nice natural looking corner in the side of this bedroom. It looks amazing! But let me split it up with these oak logs just like this. Now it's looking extra awesome. And it's also split up into three pieces. The kitchen and entertainment room, the bedroom, and the entrance room. But I almost forgot. I need to add these beds in. So let me add them right in front of these bookshelves. All right, Pip, it's time to take a look at each other's sides. So meet me at the water elevator over here. Louie, I'm coming. All right, so whose side should we look at first? My side is awesome. Come over here right now. All right, let me take a look and... Whoa, Pip, this is actually really cool. Yep, Louie, I knew you'd think so. Let me just give you a room tour. All right, show me around this place and explain everything. All right, Louie, well, over here are Mikey's beds. I have four beds, just in case one of these beds feels weird at night. One of those beds will feel weird at night? Then why not just have some really nice beds instead of some really bad ones? These are probably cheap as well. Come over here and look at Mikey's little duck. Whoa! Mikey has a duck? I didn't know Mikey had a pet duck. Yep, Louie, of course he has a pet duck. All right, well, that's really cool and all, but show me around the rest of your room. What is all of this? This room is so nice. So here's the microwave and the popcorn that I was telling you about earlier. And then okay. over here is the TV stand with jukeboxes. So we can listen what? to music, watch TV, and you could even play music over here on this music stand. Please don't tell me you're going to try and play some music. Louie, let me just pull out this guitar. Wait, what? Shred it. Pip, what are you playing? This is an original piece made by me. I call it Ducks Are the Best. Um, Pip, you are yeah. playing this mm. really bad. Yeah. I, uh, I think you should stop. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't oh. be a musician. I'm crazy right now, Louie. But. All right, all right, Pip, that's uh, enough. That's enough. I need to show you the rest of the room now, Louie. All right, well, what is this? Is, is this a chessboard? Oh, oh Louis, this is so boring. This is one of my favorite games. Oh, I love chess. Do you know how to play? Of course I know how to play chess, but I don't have time. I need to show you my room. Come on. Oh, you're right, Louie. Maybe we can play chess later. All right, here is the room. Let me just connect these rooms up really quickly so that Mikey and JJ can walk between them if they need to. And welcome to my room, Pip. Louie, I really like these hanging plants. They're absolutely really cool. Yep, since JJ and I are very similar, we are, as we are both humans, we really like hanging plants and plants going up the walls. They are really cool looking. What do you guys in the comments think? Louis, what is this middle room right here? Well, this is the entertainment room. As you can see over here, you can bake all the cakes you would ever want. And um, just for you, you can have some seeds too. I also have some microwaves and some ovens. Whoa, Louis, you have a whole kitchen in a bedroom? That's so yep. cool! Yep, I know it is, Pip. But if you take a look at the other side of the room, now we have a TV! And it's a massive flat screen TV you can watch all your favorite shows on! Look! We can sit down like this! <gasps> oh, Louie, can we just stop building and watch TV for like, oh, uh, I don't know, five hours? Hmm, maybe. But not just yet! We have to look at the rest of the room! Wait. What is this over here? Well, this is JJ's bedroom. He can sleep right here on this massive triple bed. He will never be able to fall off, even if he rolls around in his sleep. Oh, Louie, this is actually a really good idea. Sometimes I try to fly when I'm asleep, 
but sometimes I hit my head and get a massive headache. A headache? Oh, no, Pip, you know that's really bad. Maybe that's why you're such a noob. You just keep hitting your head on everything. Oh, Louise, not that, I swear. All right, but anyways, look at this, Pip. <gasps> this is JJ's PC setup. And this kind of looks like what I'm recording on right now. This is such a cool PC setup. I also record inside of a little tiny room. It's almost kind of sad. Louis, I'm recording in my nest right now. It's very hard to record sometimes. It gets really wet out here. Yeah, it must be. Your PC probably explodes whenever the rain starts. I hope thunderstorms aren't too bad for you. They're not that bad, but... We really shouldn't be talking about this right now. That TNT ball is going to explode any minute now. I know, right, Pip? I think we only have enough time for one more defense. How about you follow me and take a look at what I'm going to put here? But, Louie, what are we going to build here? Well, I'll show you right now. If I use this special command, I could fill up all of this space with water. And do you know what this is going to do? It will stop any TNT that gets to the bottom right here. So if any TNT makes it right here, it will not blow up Mikey and JJ's room. Wait, that's actually a genius idea, Louie. But I also have one more genius idea. If I also go ahead and get a spawn egg for a shark, we can add a ton of sharks that will eat the TNT when it drops down. That's a really good idea. But there is one problem with that. What if I fall into shark-infested waters? Oh, don't you worry, Pip. Come up here. I'll make sure we don't fall in. Let's just get some of these obsidian brick walls and surround the outsides with them. This way, we will not fall into the shark-infested water, and only the TNT that gets through will. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better, Louie. Oh, I really don't want to get eaten by sharks today. Neither do I, Pip. But I also don't want to be exploded by a massive TNT ball. But... Wait a second. What's that noise? And Pip, what is that? It says one minute remaining. Come on up. We need to get Mikey and JJ inside of this base. Come on, guys. Get inside. We have to go. Phew. They're inside the base right now. Inside of their bedrooms. But... Oh, I don't know about that sound. It sounds really scary out there. Is there anything else we can add to the base to secure it more? I don't know, Pip. Maybe we should just add a bit more obsidian over the top as a roof over the bedrooms to stop them from taking any damage. Hurry, we only have 30 seconds left. Come on, Louie. Please faster. My fingers are starting to hurt. Here we go, Pip. We are almost done with the roof. Hopefully, this will be strong enough to protect JJ and Mikey. But just in case it isn't, I have one more countermeasure. And that is to cover all of this with water. <gasps> just in case. Oh, Louise, you can never have enough water. All right. There we go, Pip. Hopefully, this will be strong enough to protect JJ and Mikey. Let's go ahead and see if this TNT will destroy our base. All right, guys. I think we've finished our base but I really hope it's going to be strong enough against this entire TNT ball. I guess we only have one way to find out, though. Let's light this TNT up in three, two, one, and go! I'm starting to lag, Louie, but I'm not seeing any TNT down here. Me neither, Pip. All of the explosions are happening right now, but our castle seems to be surviving. I'm not lagging anymore. Maybe the Wait, TNT's me falling neither. down. Look! The TNT is exploding everywhere, and it just made a huge crater in the ground. I hope the base is surviving. Uh, Pip, what are you Louis, seeing? Um, the farm is gone. The farm is gone? Louis, this TNT was so powerful. Half of the armory is gone. No way. I can see our obsidian roof survived slightly, but oh no. The JJ bathroom. and Mikey's rooms have been exploded. JJ... Mikey, are you guys still alive? Oh no, Pip, this is really bad. 
everything has leaked everywhere. There is lava. There is tons of water. Many unbearable hours later. Oh my gosh, Pip. That TNT just exploded everything in like a 200 block radius. It's an absolute wasteland. I really hope JJ and Mikey survived. I don't know if they did. There is a ton of obsidian. That's where our base was. And oh my gosh, look. You can see all of the underground was destroyed. And all that's left is these obsidian walls. Do you think JJ and Mikey got through this? Oh, I really hope they did. Oh, well, looking at this, I don't think they did. Let's go see their bedrooms and please, please, please. Wait. They survived, oh. Pip, look! They were smart and got on the obsidian wall. I'm so glad that JJ and Mikey are safe. After all, they're like our best friends, and without them, we'd have nothing left. Gosh, Louie, that TNT was way stronger than I thought it was. I thought our base would have been fine. Maybe next time we should build this whole thing out of obsidian. But for now... I guess our base did not survive, but we successfully protected JJ and Mikey. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's, Let's go! go!